terms of that system that I was teaching about, what I'm doing now is I'm turning left to a heading of 210 to get this needle back. Uh -huh. And our guts be advised, 106 are around, but we're planning a missed approach and then be a far back to When you're flying on instruments, there's nothing particularly hard about any specific task. It's trying to keep up with everything that's coming at you. There's literally just too much for one person to do. So I'm going to show you a quick little system. This is just a tip on how you might process an instrument flight. And it goes like this. First you're going to deal with what's happening right now. You're going to do a flow check followed by a checklist to make sure things like the mixture, the fuel pump, uh, the engine gauges, the cow flaps, you know, everything's working okay in that moment. Then you're going to think ahead for the next event. For this, use the mnemonic device, the five T's. Turn, time, twist, throttle, and talk. When I get to the next waypoint, will there be a turn? Will there be a time? Do I have to twist or program anything? Do I have to slow down or go down? And do I have to talk to anybody? And finally, once you're confident with what you're going to do on the next event, think about the big picture. For this, use the five A's. ATIS or ASOS, um, altimeter, approach briefing, avionics, and airplane. All right, if you get interrupted doing your five A's, like you get, you know, somebody calls for you to do a descent or a climb, go back to what's happening now, make sure you're confident for the next event, and then go back to work with the time you've bought yourself. It's pretty simple, but kind of hard to achieve. Here's how it works. All right, good. So think about what I wrote on the board, right? Right now, we're confident with what's going on right now yep. because we're level. We've slowed down and we're met lean. Yep. All right. The next event in front of us is Hamka. When we get to Hamka, it's a it's a right turn to a heading of 345. Uh -huh. There is no time. The GPS will auto twist, and we're going to descend to 2000. So when we get to Hamka, it's a right turn to 345. GPS auto twists, descent to 2000. Okay. All right. We're on course now. Don't worry so much about flying. Think of yourself more like CEO. Like, I'm going to talk you through this. I just want you kind of okay. thinking, like, your brain freed up a little bit more. Okay. Um, I'll give it back to you when we get in the clouds there. Okay. So, 235 is holding this needle. Good morning, North. So, let me look up here, make sure I've got that. 250. So I'll go back to the left a little bit. All right, so we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing next, right? So let's start managing the big picture. We have to pick up the weather. That's ATIS. That's the first thing. So we'll go ahead and get that. One, one, not. Peak gust, one, six, not. Visibility, five, haze. Sky condition, ceiling, one, overcast. Just then maintain 4,000, 106 from my office. So we're going to go back to the now. We'll power back a little bit. We'll start a descent and we'll do a flow check. So let's make sure that the pressure is good, temperature is good, vacuum is good, pitot heat's on, everything's looking good. Half turn on the mixture and then back that up with okay, a written checklist. Turn my footing at 2 and 9 or 0 vector spacing, maintain 8,000. Yep, all maintain good. 8, 000, okay, good. Now we're back to we know what we're doing in front of us, so let's go back to the A. Report. Automated weather observation 1, 8, 1, 7, 2, wind 3, 0, 0, maintain zero, one, zero, zero, thousand, zero, not, expect a visual now, straight one, into a six, not. Visibility. Okay, let's try. Two nine eight zero. Sky condition. Two thousand one thousand three hundred feet. Overcast. Temperature one three. Overcast. This is zero. Because you think I get a two point one zero Celsius. Altimeter two nine eight zero. 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 Altime
Okay. Ten left, heading All right. The plan view makes a lot of sense. You can see where we are. Uh, the profile view, once we get to Homka, it's down to 2,000. Um, these are the minimums. How low? 800. We go missed at Uvide if we don't see it. And which way is a climbing left turn to 6,000? Okay. All right. Back to tails. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that's the big picture. So ATIS, altimeter, approach briefing, avionics look good. Um, and airplane is the last thing. Here we are at four. Yep. So we'll go ahead and level off. And that's another opportunity for a flow check. Warner North Cal, Southwest 1654 uh. is out of 195 to send via the surf for three. We have Lima. Okay. Good. All right. So how far from Homka are we? We're two miles. So now let's get back in front of the plane. When we get to Homka, it's a right turn to heading 345, descent to 2000. All right. You want it back? Sure. Okay. You got the airplane again. Okay. I have it. You've got the flight the controls. controls. Good. I'll be your autopilot. If you start to be saturated, I'll just just engage me. Okay. I'd rather have you thinking. Then struggling. Uh, right? I see, yep. Yep. All right, so remember to aviate, navigate, and then big picture, communicate or deal with other big picture items. In this case, we got a frequency change, but before we just key the mic and contact the common advisory, the common traffic advisory frequency, we're going to deal with any kind of flow checks and checklists. We're going to think ahead for the next event. And then finally, we're going to key that mic and talk to whomever. In this case, Half Moon Bay traffic. Yep. Looking good. November 6, Romeo Alpha. Once again, just maintain 4,000 on the miss. Back to this frequency. Change to advisory frequency approved. Take care. Okay, roger that. Just four on the miss. Over to advisory now. We'll see you in a few minutes. 106 Romeo Alpha. See ya. Okay, All right, looking good. So now we're going to go to the advisory frequency. I want you to think ahead for the next event. The next event is Cavra. What needs to happen there is a left turn to 317. Okay. And a descent to 800 feet. Three miles. Okay. So when you get there, this is where you really put your mind in front of the plane, right? You, When you do this, you'll be officially... Uh, you know, minutes in front of the plane, but it's okay. left turn to 317. Okay. Descend to 800. Those are, that's all you have to do when you get there, okay? okay? Left turn to 317 and down to 800. This is where you are, 340. All right, now now last we're going to do is talk. Keep coming down to two. Get yourself in the clouds here. Half Moon Bay traffic, White Skyhawk 106 Romeo Alpha is approximately seven miles southeast of the airport uh, along the the coast here at uh, 2,500. Inbound on the GPS runway 30 approach, half my bit. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. A huge thanks to Christoph for letting me publish his flight training to the internet. If you're interested in seeing a longer version of this video, almost unedited, it is available to uh, $10 patrons at patreon.com slash learn TFP. Also, a huge thanks to the sponsors. Without the patrons and the sponsors, these videos would truly not be possible. If you're interested in staying up to date with me and all the things that I'm up to, you can find me on Instagram at LearnTFP or on the web at LearnTheFinerPoints.com. The music that you heard in this video was composed and performed by Michael Bazaar. A huge thanks to Michael for the music. Uh, please subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of uploads, and until next time, be safe, fly your best. <laughs>